Hello everybody, it is John, a very excited John, as you can probably tell by the maniacal look on my face, the big smile, and my eyes are gleaming most mischievously. I have finally been able to acquire a very old game that I have been hunting for many, many years. Source of the Nile, it is an Avalon Hill game. And it is one that I guess has been on my want list for some considerable time. And I really do regret that I didn't buy it at the time when it was released because uh, my wife was working in a game shop in Brisbane in the early days. And um, yeah, well over 40, <laughs> 40 years or so now. But I'm so tickled pink. And look, I must thank... Uh, my friend Mark for selling me his copy. Uh, it has been incredibly um, gratifying that somebody who knows a person who appreciates games and collects them uh, is, uh, is seeing that it's going to a very good home. So anyway, this is a unboxing or more a show of my collection of which this is now entered. And uh, you can have a look at what's in the box. Uh, my next thing will be to, I'm going to have to have a read of the rules, and then I will try and look at doing a playthrough so that people can see why I find this game to be one of my grail games of, uh, of finding. So anyway, let's go have a look at, once I can move my hand around, and uh, let's go have a look at the video, uh, sorry, the rest of the video, and what's in the box. Right, this is a video showing you what's in the box of Source of the Nile. Now, this is a game that I have been literally chasing for ages, and I have been finally able to obtain a copy. So, it may not appeal to some people because it's a game of African exploration, but for me, Oh, look, this is a game I can remember. Used to be in the shop where my wife worked, and because uh, she worked in a game shop in those days. So this is, I guess, an unboxing, showing you what's in here. Now I have, as I said, I've been chasing this game for so long, but the board comes in three parts and it comes with the charts and everything that you need to to look at on here so as I said I've not played this game myself since um, sometime in the early 80s but as you can see um, everything well, not everything, but certainly the most um, information that you will require is actually on the board itself. And as you can see, it is still in pretty good nick after all this time. So there's three boards. Again, they're fairly typical Avalon Hill, so they're in quite good cardboard. Now, these were made with the intention that people would use once I get down to it would be using these I guess a bit like a Crayola well it is a crayon in this case so a crayon is used to write to draw your um, exploration of Africa as you're looking for I can't remember maybe yes probably is the the source of the Nile but um, so I'm going to have to go off and source myself a few crayons. Uh, I don't really want to laminate because uh, lamination on the boards does not work very well. So the these are the rules. Now, modern generation of gamers don't like anything that's any more complex than lots of pretty pictures and some text. These are from the days where... We wrote rules that, uh, for the most part, did make sense. So uh, I am really happy 
So there's two games. As I said, it's it's been so long. I'm going to have to sit down and probably do another little video of me playing this game, I would think. But again, it's all in dot points. See, I come from a quality assurance background where, for me, writing, writing instructions and uh, imparting information is critical. And for me, it is always done in dot points. And it's done so that... Well, I've always written instructions that I assume that anybody reading my manuals is an idiot and that they should be able to read and understand it because that's a primary part. But look, this is, you know, these rules are in exceptionally good condition and then there's game two. So I need to refresh my mind as to how things are. Uh, there are uh, an explanation of some of the terminology. So they tell you who Lord Derby Eland was. Um, so that's all sorts of things. And then it shows uh, examples of expeditions for $1,000. So it's all about building your team and moving in. So the counters themselves are fairly typical for the time. So they're a standard board game which Avalon Hill uh, was um, the primary, I guess, developer in those days. So lots of, lots of counters. So that'll confuse a few people. So I'll need to go have a look at what's here, what needs to be you know, either redo the counters to a larger size because the hex is, oh yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm already thinking about how to improve the uh, the counter situation to sort of modernise it a little bit, perhaps. But the uh, lots of lots of uh, counters, which I'll have to refresh my memory with what they do. But uh, I am in itself exceptionally happy to have this game back in my collection. So there's lots of lots of dice, four dice. Then there's these. So these are the cards. I would probably try to find something that would allow me to sleeve these because I think they it's an old game that I do believe needs to have some protection so these are yeah as I said I've got to remember how to play this game it's as I said it's been so long but I'm so chuffed I thought look I must show everybody I've been very successful in finally obtaining for myself a copy of Source of the Nile so they're the uh, they're the cards and uh, so that was the rules there's still a good pad of um, exploration um, game logs. So you've got a game log that you record your expedition and that with. So um, that's interesting. I wonder why the... Oh, okay, so you do one one way. I don't know. I wonder why that's upside down. Native trade expedition exchange rates. And then you've got your log and things like that. And then the victory point schedule. So, as I said, I've got to reacquaint myself with this wonderful game. As I said, I'm so happy to be able to have this back in my collection that uh, I don't think words can truly express it. So, uh, they're the game logs. And, uh, and look, I even had uh, the gentleman who sold me this included the uh, um, from a site about um, mapping rivers so there must have so there's all sorts of additional uh, information here about the game itself so I've got to have a look at that see how good that is so uh, there you have it everybody my little bit of excitement me to, uh, to finally have this game back in my collection has uh, really made me rather happy. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. 
Um, let me know what your favourite old game is that you've been, you know, hunting around trying to uh, trying to find, because uh, this certainly is one of, I guess, many old Avalon Hill games that I'm still trying to uh, to acquire and fill in with. So uh, just pop that back in there. Very happy. So. Look, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And uh, till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.